the town for Thursday, May 7th, is none other than Jason Whitlock. Now, Jason, he works on, he got some type of sports show on uh, Fox Sports where, you know, it's, it's not very good, but he gives his opinion on a lot of different things. It all started on Wednesday night when LeBron James took to his social media and decided to speak out on the 25-year-old Ahmaud Aubrey, um, who was gunned down by two white men while jogging, unarmed, in Georgia. Now, this incident happened back in February, but for some reason, um, the video just came out recently. Now, Gregory McMichael and his son, Travis, they admitted to going, getting guns, and pursuing um, Aubrey after he jogged past them. Now, just imagine you just jogging down the street, you know, saying, minding your own business, and two people decide to go get guns and to pursue you. Now, like I said, on Tuesday, this, um, you know, video was was released to the public, man. And LeBron James, he took to Twitter, and um, this is what he had to say. Uh, LeBron James says, we are literally hunted every day, every time we step foot outside the comfort of our homes. Can't even go for a damn jog, man. Like, what the F, man? Are you kidding me? No, man, are you kidding me? I'm sorry, Amon. Rest in paradise, and my prayers and blessings are sent to the family. Jason says, this isn't helpful. It's Twitter trolling. It's using this man's tra tragedy to build a brand as more outspoken than Michael Jordan. There are all kinds of ways to draw attention to this tragedy, suggesting that we suggesting that we are hunted every day, every time is just shit stirring. Now these are the words of Jason Whitlock. Now Jason Whitlock is a guy who cannot be taken seriously. Um, you know, I don't I don't take nothing he, he has to say seriously because he does not take himself seriously. If you are 400 pounds and you're on TV every day talking about uh, guys who are uh, athletes, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it would uh, be in your best judgment to at least try to get in some type of shape, not come on stage to criticize athletes weighing 400 pounds. So there's nothing that you know, uh, Jason can say that I would, I would really take seriously, man. Um, and it leads me to this next point. You know, more than one person has pointed out uh, the replies. James never mentioned Jordan, and the only person who has done that was Jason himself. Um, in fact, you can make the strong argument that the only person trying to make this tragedy about himself <laughs> it's Jason. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, which makes the whole thing depressing and predictable. And I fully realize by even doing this video, I am giving attention um, to a guy who craves it and moves like this in a shysty, slippery manner. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm giving attention to a guy who really doesn't deserve it. Um, but, you know, I don't have a good answer. You know what I mean? What do I do? Do I stay quiet and, you know, I risk, you know, silently validating what Jason Whitlock is saying or do I speak up? You know, he gets what he wants, you know, and continuing to, however, uh, stay relevant. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you want to call it, man. But Jason Whitlock in my book is a piece of shit, um, you know, but there's a shelf life to things like these and Jason Whitlock may be past his expiration date. Um, this, in the, this ain't the first time that Jason Whitlock had a run-in with LeBron James, man. Uh, I remember, I think it was the last year or two years ago, um, might be a couple years ago but now, but when LeBron first moved out to L.A., um, you know, he tweeted about somebody spray-painting the word, the N-word on his garage or on his property. Jason Whitlock took it upon himself to speak out and say, you know, uh, what does this rich black man care about somebody spray painting the N-word on his uh, property? You know what I mean? As if it doesn't affect him, as if, you know, he's above being called the N-word, as if, you know what I mean, none of his children are black, as if that word, 
is never going to come across none of his children, none of his family, none of his loved ones. Jason Whitlock, man, you are a big fat clown, man. You know what I'm saying? And I hate to disrespect a guy like that, man. But when you're this stupid, you know, nobody brought up Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Um, people have been asking for years for people in LeBron's position, uh, celebrities, uh, sports, sports figures, you know, guys who have a, a major platform to use that flat platform to speak out on injustices, social injustices. And this is exactly what LeBron James has done. And now, Jason Whitlock, you want to criticize LeBron James for doing exactly what everybody has been asking people in his shoes to do for the long, for the longest. You understand what I'm saying? Um, it's just sickening, man. And it's sad that this guy has nothing better to do than the clout chase on LeBron James, man. Um, you know, it's, it's a sad thing that, you know, every, every movie you make is going to be compared to Jordan. But in this case right here where, you know, there's a tragedy and um, someone has lost their lives and you got a man like LeBron James who has all these endorsements, all these, this popularity, everything on the line, everything to lose, man. And he takes it upon himself to risk everything by speaking up on it. You're going to accuse him of basically clout chasing for that reason, Jason Whitlock, you are the clown of the town. Big faces.